drink so much. What is he trying to prove? Wish to God I knew. I don't think we're going to be able to dress Chuck in his favorite red hat, honey. It's not fair. We have to find it. Susie, would you go upstairs? I want to talk to your mother. Okay. Wait till you hear this. Roy, what's the matter? My brother called from the precinct. Rumors are flying all over the place. What rumors? He and a couple of the other officers have been making calls. There's a story out that Chuck was locked in a car trunk the night he died. Why? He doesn't know. But he's sure that there was a lot more going on at that fraternity party than people are saying. That's exactly what I've been thinking. Well, then why didn't you say something? Because I, I thought I was going crazy or grasping at straws or something. Well, I'll tell you what's crazy. Chuck goes out to a party in the middle of the night, in the middle of the winter. He doesn't wear a coat. And why did he have bruises on his knuckles? You saw bruises? In the hospital, when I took his hand to say goodbye, I keep asking myself, well, what were those bruises from? Oh, God, Roy. What? That story of your brother's. What if it's true? And Chuck was in the trunk of that car banging to get out. Damn it! At a time like this, the question that seemingly cannot be answered is why? Why was such a decent, caring young man robbed of his youth and his future in such a senseless way? One question, however, that can be answered is, what can we do for the family and the loved ones of Chuck Stenzel? We can give them our love, give them our support, and our understanding. So let us now honor the memory of Chuck with a moment of silent prayer. This is from Mr. Grady. The thing I remember most about Chuck was that he knew I had a bad back, and so whenever we had a big snow, he'd come over and shovel my sidewalk. I always tried to pay him. He always said no. He's one hell of a kid. That's what makes me so angry, Roy, to think that he was treated with such indifference by the school that he loved by the friends who attended that so-called party. Where are their cards? And where is their sympathy? I'll get it, sweetheart. Can I help you? It's really hard for me to face you right now. I couldn't do it before. I was too upset, and I didn't know what to say to you. I hope you'll forgive me for not coming to the funeral. I, I, I couldn't handle it. I want you to know that my heart and thoughts are with you, and if there's anything at all I can do for you... Frank, please just tell us what happened to Chuck. I'd be breaking my vow of silence to tell you that, my oath of secrecy. Frank, I am begging you.
Chuck died being hazed in the Delta Lambda fraternity. Hazed? It's the stuff we do as part of the initiation into the fraternity. The thing is, we all agreed not to get in touch with the family. We agreed that nothing could bring Chuck back. But I felt it was my duty as his friend to tell you the truth. I feel so responsible for everything. Chuck told us about everything that he was involved in in school, but he never once mentioned a fraternity. Well, he wasn't going to join, but I wouldn't let up on him. It was the beginning of Hell Week, and that night was tapping night. A celebration on the night that pledges are accepted for membership. The pledges were taken from their dorms, blindfolded, and assembled in the parking lot. Okay. They had no idea what was going to happen to them. Now, I am your pledge master. Yeah. And as part of your pledgeship, you will experience the honored tradition of Delta Lambda Fraternity. The stuff we do here is secret, okay? Okay, worms. Here's the drill. Listen up, pledges. We know how worms love those cold and dark places. Yes, we do. So get it. You better wiggle so you'll fit. And while you're in there, we want you to drink one of these pints of bourbon. Yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look, all I can drink is beer. Well, that's good news, Chuck. Because you will chase that bourbon with a six-pack. Yeah. You're in luck, Chuck. And you'll Chuck. wash that down Chuck. with a bottle Chuck. of wine. Chuck. Good idea, brother. Can someone tell me why? I can. <laughs> Because you're worms, Bludges! Yeah. And we want to see you glow. Yeah. So let's get in the trucks. Yeah! Woo. Watch your heads! Yeah! The cars drove around for maybe a half hour with the three pledges locked in the trunks. And when they got back to the fraternity house, the trunks were finally open. Hey, worms! It looks like Chuck's the winner! Come on, let's get Wake out of here. Come on, let's Wake go. Up, Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. How come he's not getting up? Hey, Chuck, you're not playing the game right. Oh, man. He gave you that mixer so you'd lose it. That's the joke, get it? Come on, Chuck, you gotta get up and go to the head of the class. Hey, give me a hand, he's really passed out. Oh. My word of honor. No harm was ever intended. We'd all been through it and nothing had ever gone wrong before. Frank, give me a hand, would you? Come on! I thought a shower would wake them up. Ah, uh, they're passed out all over the place. This is what we can do is let them sleep it off. I was Chuck's sponsor. And I was supposed to be checking on him every 15 minutes. But I went downstairs to the bar room and continued to party. And there were drinking games and and it got it got out of hand. I got really drunk and I passed out. <laughs> 